Hello everyone, it's Trina here from there's a card for that.ca and today I'm going to be making a little Merry Christmas card featuring the Say What uh, Christmas Critters stamp set from Lawn Fawn and some pattern paper and some die cutting. I did all of my die cutting prior to filming just to shorten up the video a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put all of the little critters into my Misty and stamp them with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock. And my cardstock is just the store brand from my Staples stationery store here in Canada. It's really inexpensive for how much you get and it works great with Copics and I use it for my layering weight and everything. I use it's the only white cardstock that I have. So I wanted to put them in my Misty because I hadn't used the stamp set before so that I could stamp them twice to get a nice good impression. And then I'm going to color them in with Copic markers and all of the colors that I'm using are going to be across the bottom of the screen. I'm going to start with the llama because I didn't know at this point what color I wanted to do my unicorn because where the reindeer, obviously, it's a reindeer, and the penguin and the llama, they all have like a winter theme going to them, but the unicorn is just a little unicorn, and he can be used all year round, but I wanted a real winter theme to this card. So I'm going to save him for last, and all of the Copic coloring, because these images are so incredibly small, is just super simple. There's two colors max, and I'm going to keep it really really simple um, with the coloring very basic I'm going to start with the reds and all of their hooves are going to be in the E29 and there's no shading in there whatsoever um, I find with the smaller images the fewer colors I use the better it is um, with a bigger image of course you can fit more in and blend and not have to worry about the the bleeding through or um, it's seeping out of the edge or anything like that you don't really get the same luxury with smaller images because they're smaller right <laughs> you just don't have as much space and the paper gets saturated super fast um, my e29 that I use for all of their hooves is super juicy like you can't really see it in here but every time I'm using it I'm like Oh, just waiting for that big drip to come out the end so I have like this scrap piece of paper on the side and I'm like scribbling it off so that it doesn't drip out <laughs> because that's that's the worst I've had that where it's like oh that looks a little wetter than it should and then I'm at the end of a project and bloop <laughs> and it's super frustrating super frustrating and I mean if you're a Copic user you know where I'm coming from you've had it <laughs> And if you hadn't, haven't had it, you're super lucky. Um, I don't use any shading at all for the penguin's beak or his feet. It's just YR14, super simple. And then I'm going to go into the little reindeer here and just use a couple shades for his face and then a couple other shades for his fur, the rest of his fur, his body. I don't know. <laughs> And uh, normally I go a little bit darker with my reindeer, but I wanted to keep this pretty light because aside from the penguin, like the llama's white and most of the penguin is white and the unicorn's going to be white. So <laughs> I didn't want him to be super, super dark. So I'm just going in with B00 and B000 um, for his mane and his tail and then I'm going to add the B00 for his horn um, and then I'm going to use a jelly roll stardust glitter pen on his horn as well but at the end I'm going to use Wink of Stella over it anyway <laughs> because why wouldn't I right Let's make it as sparkly as possible um, so I'm a big fan of using up my scraps so that's what this paper is from I don't like to waste it even though it's so incredibly inexpensive like why waste it if you can stamp a little image on there do it up right like save as much as you can so that you don't have to spend more money on paper when you can buy stamps because everybody loves stamps 
So today's card is going to be a standard A2 sized side folding card in portrait. And for my layers, I'm using the Perfectly Plaid Chill, which I think came out last year. And this back layer here is cut with the largest of the small stitched rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn. And then I thought I had the stitched squares from Lawn Fawn, but apparently I don't. I've switched stitched squares from somewhere else and I did not label them. I think it was one of the first die sets I ever got. Um, so I had cut those out of the plain white paper and then another piece of the chill dark blue because um, I wanted it to look as though it were a frame and then to break up between the two different patterned papers. I chose this darker pattern paper because it is the same color as those really fine dark lines in the background and I wanted to bring those out. And for all of these little images and little squares, I am going to be just running it through my Xyron X sticker maker because it's so much faster than trying to do these teeny tiny little images with my dollar store glue tape and so once I run that through, I like to take my bone folder and really like scratch it down and around the edges, especially in that um, Mary die, which I believe is the happy, happy add-on die set. Um, just so that I don't get those random strings off the edge when you use a sticker maker. And it doesn't seem to um, do anything like it doesn't crush the paper or anything like that like obviously you're gonna be a little bit careful especially around finer pieces um, the Mary and the Christmas that you'll see in just a minute here are both Lawn Fawn die cuts the Merry Christmas border die which came out a couple years ago and then again the happy happy um, and those are cut out of red glittered cardstock that I just picked up at my local Michaels I just wanted a real bright pop in there. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want all of these and the white part of the frame is going to be popped up on my dollar store foam tape which is such a good deal and <laughs> it wasn't until I was like adhering the bottom left square that I realized those aren't center but with this foam tape they're not coming off. <laughs> so I was like whoops well what are you gonna do because I'm this far into the card and I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just deciding where I wanted them to go. I didn't want the llama and the unicorn because they're both white right next to each other. Um, and then it kind of put me in this conundrum, right? Because the llama and the penguin both have red and I didn't really want them right next to each other either. So that's why I decided to do two above and two below the sentiment, which is going to be the red glitter cardstock because it kind of like pulls it all together and uh, things look nicer in threes, right? So it kind of makes like this visual triangle. So to offset the fact that my squares are too far to the right, I decided to hang the Mary off of the edge. And instead of running this one through the Xyron sticker maker, I decided I was just going to use some Rangers multi-medium matte adhesive because it's so super tiny and it would literally take forever, well, not literally, right, but like a really long time, to get the adhesive to stick and then I'd be like playing with it and fiddling with it and I was just like, I don't even have time for that. I got so many things on the go today and I wanted to get this in. Um, so it was originally going to be the whole Merry Christmas scripty die, but that doesn't fit across a portrait sized card. So luckily I had this other one because why wouldn't I have all the things? <laughs> because they come in handy, right? And then I'm going to add the little dot from the eye again with the multi-medium mat from Ranger and use my little toothpick DIY quick stick tool to put that on. And that is literally the same one from months ago. I have like half a dozen made. <laughs> and they're just sticking in this stuff like that blue sticky tack that you put posters up with. And yeah, they're just, they're just sitting there. <laughs> it's like the best thing I've ever made. So I'm going over parts of each of the critters with my clear Wink of Stella because I have to have sparkle. I just, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a card by me if it didn't have a bunch of bling on it, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to go over the hooves and the unicorn's horn with 
the glossy accents. Now I talked before about this precision tip nozzle that I had purchased. Um, yeah, that one clogged. So I do like it. So I did purchase another one, but I wasn't super thrilled that it had clogged up. And then I decided that the reindeer was going to be Rudolph, just add a little bit more red. So this gem is actually from a diamond painting that I had picked up. I wasn't sure if I was going to like diamond painting, so I picked one with colors that I'm like, oh, if I don't like it, I can use them all on my cards because <laughs> they're super little, right? Like they, they're only like two millimeters wide. Um, and who doesn't like more embellishments? So I had picked that up and then I used some of the multi-matte medium to adhere that in place and of course it smooshed out a little bit so I'm just going to scoop that up with the other end of my quick stick tool and that's our card for today so thank you all so much for watching if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and throw me a comment because I love hearing from all of you so much I appreciate it have a great day bye